Metadata is an important requirement of an ebook. It's information that your online distributor and ebook reader will use to provide that information to the person reading the book or the person looking to purchase your book. Many online distributors require you to have certain metadata within your ebook and you can also provide other information. Metadata is set up using this little button here, which I'll click. Now you'll see here there's already some entries that have been put in which we can modify and add to. What we need to do here for this particular book, the first five years, is to add some information and update the template. So obviously the title. Port Hedlund, the first five years, 1965 to 1970. Here you would put the name, your name, as author. I don't think there's any need to fill out this file as field. Down in here we have some important information also. Sigil creates a date entry and, it, and the value of the date entry is the last time the ebook was modified. You can also add a create date if you wish to, and we'll have a look at that in a minute. Publisher information and the format of the book, electronic book, would be useful. But probably one of the key pieces of information that we need to add in is the ISBN number. So we're going to add basic. Click that. And here's a selection of possible entries, possible metadata, perhaps common metadata that would be added to different digital products. I see here ISBN, so I'll select that and click OK. Now value is the, is the area where you would enter the particular information. So simply double click and then you can add in your ISBN number, whatever that is. And there it is, there entered as metadata. Another piece of information you might put in there is in my book I have illustrations. I'm going to add a role. And here are many and perhaps all of the many possible roles that people might play, including author. Though there's no need to put author in as it's already included in the top part of the metadata editor. What I'm looking for here is illustrator. Let's scroll down and see what we can find. There we go, illustrator. So we'll insert that and I'll add in the name of the illustrator. What other information would you add into an ebook in the metadata? Go back to Add Basic. You'll see here we've got some dates that you could add in. You could put in the date of creation if you wished. Let's do that. OK. And there is the date there. And with a double click you can edit that date to be whatever you like. What else have we got? Add basic. A description. Let's insert that. And in here you might insert a short description of your product, which is an ebook. So you can see here that you can build up quite a body of information about this ebook and the file that contains it. So we'll OK that. And that information is kept in the content.opf file. Let's open that. And you can see just up here it says DC identifier. We've got the title of the book, the first five years, Port Hedlund 1965 to 97. The creator, Stephen Outram. Language, EN is English. Got a date of modification and then the date. Publisher, what else is possible. Format, electronic book, identifier. There's the ISBN number right there. Illustrator, another date and the description. So all of the information in our metadata is logged and kept in content.opf. So content.opf is quite an important file. 
in relation to ebooks. I'll close that now. This has been a tutorial on adding metadata 